Hi, I'm Fox, and welcome back to Hand of Fate, and looks like it picked up on right where we left off last time. So, we'll get started. Bandit attack. Our bandits are displeased with your challenges. Alright, let's do this. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about your, you killing his men. The dealer draws you one monster card. There we go. Now I got it. There we go. <laughs> well, it looks like we're off to a good start. Among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you. Plus an offer of a reward from the King of Dust. The deer draws you one game card. Oh, got food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Alright, let's see what's over here. Traveling Tinker. Hmm. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant. Approach. How much gold do I have? Ten? I doubt I'll be able to do much. Uh, let's see if I have anything to do. Mace. Let's go ahead and sell this mace. Alright, I got me four. And the shield here. Alright. Got seventeen. Let's see. Let's go back. So he has here. Chains of Rage. During combat, strikes assist, stand from bows and weapons have a chance to restore your cooldowns. Hmm. Mercenary contract. Press 2 to activate the aura that makes every self of strike drop gold. Hmm. Drop gold on every strike. Uh, medium armor. Middle of the road in every way. Fortitude's breath. Every third encounter, but does not consume food. Hmm. Oh, this is a shield. It's thirty though. Even though some old one, no one be able to get it. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't figure I'd be able to do much. Looks like I'm out of food. Yeah, I'll buy that. There we go. Now I'm down to six. There. Alright, hop back over here. And over here. Dead King's Hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? 
We play for a token now. You see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Two monster cards. Two of skulls. Two of skulls. All right. Choose from these options. Um. Well, crap. <laughs> You're spotted as you approach, and the creatures ready themselves for combat. Nope, that could have went better. <laughs> well, if I can just there, ah, take that. <laughs> there we go. Dude draws your three game cards. Oh, cool. Equipment. Medium armor. Which I already got equipped. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Got three food. And five max health. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Well then. <laughs> Take the token. It is yours. Alright. Uh, I can't remember how much I sold my... Uh, how much my medium armor? I think it's only worth three, so I don't think it's worth hopping back to the merchant to sell. A river. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. Your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear but fast flowing. Attempt to cross it. Oh, great, that's a huge failure. <laughs> no, my luck, I'll probably get it, but. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, see? <laughs> Attempt to cross. As you swim, you notice know, some gleaming stones on the riverbed. If you had lighter armor, you could attempt to die for them safely. Crossing is not easy, but make it in one piece. Hmm. This should be the Jack. Yep. <laughs> the undead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness, an error, cheating. This tenacious undead is un unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, this skeleton has the power to revive. Recently defeated skeletons in its close vis vicinity. vicinity. There we go. Serving as captain, two squads of lesser skeletons. These unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts. Of all warm blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legions are efficiently endless. What Again, the? a token is at stake. <laughs> I don't know if that caught that or not, but for some reason my game exited out. <laughs> Hello. Continue.
All right. Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? All right, let's take care of these guys first. Trying to dodge. There we go. Ah, well done. Well done indeed. But you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. <laughs> now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? Alright, that's who I have here. The murder at sea DLC arrived. Oh. Visit the landlocked lumber to begin the quest. Oh, so there's DLC here. Hmm, nice. That's so what this is. For helping the captain. Mace. Okay, I got two maces. Thorn. Scavenger's cap. Treasure chest. Roar for defeating my skeleton, Jack. See the cur symbol. Can't really read that small print too well. Queen of Dust. Helpful priest. And Desert Storm. There's a reward for defeating my skeleton jerk. Helm of Reflection. Consuming Shame. Angel's Wing. And Frostfang. Hmm. Shall we deal again? Alright. Let's start on another one. Another round, and our game truly begins. All right, let's see what this queen of dust is. Money bags in combat. The player's movement speed is re reduced by how much gold they possess. Oh. Okay. The bandit queen was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years, she has brided and bribed and murdered her way to the current position as second in command of the desert thieves, proving herself capable of the ruthless cunning. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, she took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Uh, deck builder. So I'm not quite sure what the deck builder is all about. I'll check that out next time I have a chance. Let's just start. Not prepared to play. Go oh. get your deck in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is waiting. He's recommended. So I'm just going to. I'm not sure. Welcome to the wild car update for hand to fate. This update adds different fates that you can select in order to change the way the game plays. Each fate provides different modifiers to play. Hmm. 
I'll check all these out in a different time. Okay, let's just start. Now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. I've added some cards to spice up the game. In addition to the pain and game decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. Alrighty, let's do this. Twisted Canyon. You see a weapon. Climb down and retrieve it. Alright, let's see this one. Yay. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom. Draw a weapon card. Oh, first thing. Equipped with this trait is a, a dude with glacial power. Lizard men will eat especially substant to an extent. <sighs> Sustainable. <laughs> I can't read today. There. Continue. Does a lot more damage. Alright, next. The landlocked lumber. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Hmm. The door to the landlocked lumber. Oh, lumber, that's what that you'd call it. Opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap in a tomb. Okay. The proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid, smelled the, the kraken? Uh... What is a kraken? The landlord stares at you in disbelief. He proceeds to rant and rave for nearly an hour about the dangers, claws, feeding patterns, and scents of the kraken. After which, you learn that his name is Carlo, and in years past, he sailed the seas as a captain. He now owns in this inn and stays as far away from the sea as possible. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread. Carlo approach, approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of No Witch. No survivors, no witnesses. No Witch port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what's really happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlo gestures to the empty damp. Take your time if you like. I've waited long enough. Well, if you give me a chance to read there. Damp ridden flea hole that he calls home. The card's token is now yours. Oh. Cool. The Maiden. One day in Shady Forest. I won't ask for longer life as usual. Two max health cards. Five. And fifteen. Nice. See, there is more than five. <laughs> Not completely crazy. Let's see. And there's the stairs. Head downwards, if you dare. All right, let's take the stairs. Embark on the next leg of your adventure. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. 
but I'm going to leave it here for now, and I'll see you all next time as we continue on.